Okay, let's continue on with our lessons. So, we finish our cough and cold. We, right now, we go to heart problem. Now, heart problem is about hypertension or heart attack. Now, what is hypertension? What is hypertension? Very simple. Uh, hypertension, it means that your blood viscosity, what is blood viscosity? Uh, yung lapot ng dugo. Your blood viscosity is too viscous. It's too uh, sobrang lapot. So, because it's too sticky, too viscous, so what happened? Those small vein, blood vein, the small ones, can easily be blocked. Again, again. When you are hypertensive, it means that your blood viscosity is too sticky that in the small vein, blood vein, you, they can easily block it. Block it. So, the blood will not flow. Will not circulate. Mubara siya, sir. Yes, mubara. So, when... When the blood cannot circulate, what happens? Heart attack. That's the result of heart attack. Okay? Okay. Now, how to release the blockage? Very simple. First aid. If you went out and you had a high, you are hypertensive, when you went out, every time you go out, get a silly labuyo. The chili, chili. No. Put the hot, hot chili, put it in your wallet or your, your bursa, packet, you go out. So when you felt that you already are having a heart attack, you will know. Am I right? Those hypertensive people, they know when they are getting the heart attack already. Get that chili, break it, and put it below the tongue. Ah, dirty, dirty. Yeah. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay, minaw, minaw. Sabi niya, What do you want? Hot? Uh, breakdown? Or dead? Which one? <laughs> hot na lang, sir. Hot. Lain na may manambo, ma'am. Lain na may manambo. Pero ang okay na, sir. Ang broke alternative, nag-share sa amin niya. I-ano lang daw, tulo, tatlo daw ka, sili, inumin. De, de, Pwede, de. pero mas guwapo din eh. Ah, mas guwapo din eh. Dilaw sa dila. Ah. Break it down, put it... This is when you are having heart attack already. Ah, Yung sinasabi ni Doc is prevention. Ah, prevention to. We'll go to that okay. later on. Now, ah. listen. So, put it below the tank so it will be very hot, right? Oh. Now, why does that help to release the blockage? Because that hot things below the tongue will trigger one messenger, which is called the pentotaric glands, to immediately send a message to your blood to have a, a big pump, pump, pump. To have a big pump. Isn't it your, your CR if you have blockage? Cannot flush, it will overflow. Because there's a blockage, what do you use? The pump oh, mm. to release the blockage. So with a big pump of the heart, immediate big pump of the heart, the blockage will be released. So ang sinig ng magkakuan na ito? Yes. Trigger the heart to have a, immediately a big pump. Okay? Now, for regular, every day, uh, like what Dr. Arteni Tebow was saying, uh, I also teach this to them. Now, I have a friend in Cebu. He started taking in Sili Labuyo. Uh, he started uh, two every morning, two. Then slowly he increased, increased, increased up to ten per day. But, but, without chewing. Without chewing, lamoy. Swallow it. Because if you chew it, ah, so hard. 
Pero ang atong lubot, pagtimhangan. Ah, no, 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 no. That's why you start first from two. Get used, let your stomach get used to it. And as you keep on increasing, increasing is increasing, the, the stomach will continue to get used to it. So you, until you can take in 10. This is the small red chili? Yes. Okay. The small red chili. And he's take, he takes that every day? Mm. Every day, 10. For how long? Every day. 10. Pila na sir, pila ka buwan sir. That will be her lifetime. Lifetime Life na sir. So, kung uh, mag Remember, you slowly increase. So from let your stomach get used to it. Kung acidic na kada answer, pwede ba nasir kung acidic na daan? Alkaline na. Hindi makasidik na alkaline. Alkaline. Silly. Hot chili is alkaline. If you cook it, it becomes. When you cook it, it becomes. Acidic. Uh, how about uh, doing FPJ for moringa? Uh, FPJ moringa that's good for multivitamins okay. and protein. Okay, but but it uh, it 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 will work, right? Because it will work if I do moringa leaves. Because I, I saw some other people on the internet. They say moringa it doesn't produce Mom, lot of liquid. Malungay. Malungay. It doesn't produce a lot of malungay. 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 If you try to ferment moringa F P J, it doesn't produce a lot of liquid. No. But if it's volume, then. But, but you know, it's two is to one or three is to one, so eventually you will have more liquids also. Yeah. Sir, pwede na mo i-mix ang malunggay sa kanang amo ang other material. Sir, mas nutritious man ang malunggay for human consumption. There is no limitation in the fermentation. You can do any kind of materials, what is available in your area. Gamayon lang ni mo siguro ka iba. Lang to ka, sir, ang resulta sa manunggay. Gamay lang duga. Gamay lang lagi. Isagol ni mo, at least na ay mo rin ka. How about you're right that liquid will be not so much liquid in the manunggay? So, so maybe maybe drying and no you can add other other kind of plants, plants okay. together oh. like for example you can add kangkong kangkong will be high liquid mm. so if you add kangkong in, with it uh, you will have a lot of liquids a lot of liquids not, not purely moringa you mix it with kangkong mm -hmm. okay Remember, uh, the more kind you permit, the better. The better. Simple as that. Common sense. Claro? Okay. Now, now uh, to soften your blood, so how do you soften your blood? Because it's too viscous, that's where you have hypertension, you will have heart attack. To soften your blood, anything that is in the environment that are bitter. Ah. Anything that is in our environment that are bitter is a good source to soften our blood. Claro? So the, the red chili is to, to do what? Chili just to also cleanse the blood. If you take in chili every day, okay. to cleanse also the blood. So it cleans the blood and also for hypertension. Also, oh, also it reduces the viscosity. Okay. And also anything that is bitter in the environment. Okay. In the plant industry, like for example, kaya kaya. Ah, kadalasan sultin niyo is ampalaya. Oh, ampalaya sir. Now listen, the bitter gourds. The bitter gourds, the ampalaya, which is the long one, oh. I will not use that one. What I use is the wild ampalaya. 
So we are throwing away a lot of things that are locally available but we reject it. Oh. And these are the best. Do you know that there is... Listen, listen. Do you know that there is... Oh, there's a small, small fruits that is the smallest pepino. Yes, it's wild. Oh, see there, oh. Oh, kanibak na, oh, kanibak. Kama na, na, do. Kanibak na, 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 na. Pepino de na, pepino de na. Yes! Pepino de na. Kani ka gamay? Oh! That is pepino! That is the smallest our local native pepino! Amo man ang ibdun, sir, kay... Oh, yung bunga! May bunga! Oh, kainin! Ang bunga! Kung hindi pepino na! Kainin! Ang bunga! No, that's that's a good. Ay, nako, pina sa gulay. Ay, sir, ang sumangit tanong mo ano, sir? Na, 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 Oh, na pa, na pa. Oh, dia kau. Inu kau tak paham? Oh, bukan very small, bukan very. Atau nanti lingkasan di tu satu perti tegahan ni. Ya. Pengpedagan mu anak pari atau apa tu bu? Kapal mu, kana, sa mga five star hotel, kena hal ni yang sa salad bar. Sa salad. Apa ini yang kilaun? Merau nang kita putang ni. Ujat tampilan ni sir. Refreshing, pepino. Papa, skin. Skin, pagwapa. Kana. Skin, pepino is for the skin. Papa, pagwapa. 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 Papa
sa pa may pait ka, yung mga tanong nyo, <coughs> yung panyawan. Ano lang, panyawan. Lang. panyawan. Ay, panyawan, hindi. sir. Gapang yan. Ah. Yung ano lang? Fruit, fruit. Hindi, hindi. Fruit, ano lunch. 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 So, pait. Ano sa pa may pait? Kanto ganing hibi-hibi, sir. Kanang ay, sir. Gamay, gamay lang siya. Ganang lang magtubo ng anak. Maria Villosa. Ay, oo. Oh. Oo, oh, Maria Villosa. Maria Villosa. Kanang pag Kanang pait dahon. kayo, sir. Dahon lang. Arang kapait. Dahon, dahon lang. Oh. Kapait kayo, sir. Mga Maria Villosa. Muna itapan na mo sa pista yan. Si? Mara, there are many in our environment that we have already forgotten. But our forefathers, they wala, know. Wala magtudlo na mo. But never had been transferred to the new generation because the new generation don't want to eat those things. See? So let's go back. God made those things for your health, for your medicine, and we forgotten it already. And we rejected it already. Kuan ko daw sir, kanang sayuti, humula ni mo, imnon ang tubig sir, may daw na sa blood. You know, Vietnamese, sir? let me tell you, the Vietnamese, so, okay. why they survived the war with the Americans? They eat a lot of this grass. Because that's the only thing that is available. Oh. And they are the best people how to know this grass is good, this grass is, what is this for, what is that for? Oh, look at the food of the Jap uh, Vietnamese. They are all our grass. And tayo, when we talk about grass, eh! Uh, uh, look, look, look at yung tao-tawa. For dengue. Oh, it's there. Oh, tao-tawa. Yes! And these are grass. And we just reject it. See? So, guys, go back. There are many grass can be eaten for your health. If we are like the Vietnamese, you see, the Vietnamese. Vietnamese was bombed by the U.S. They releases chemical. Agent Orange, cancer result. So many Vietnamese had cancer, <coughs> but they survived because of what? Some the grass that they eat. They survived, <coughs> but many Vietnamese had cancer. Many, many. But why they survived? Because they eat grass. A lot of those grass help them immune system to increase to fight against all those cancer in their body. Yung turmeric, sir, luyang dilaw. Yes, we'll go to that later on. Now, listen. So lastly, uh, cancer. Cancer. Now, now uh, in the internet, if you go to the internet, Regarding cancer, there's one article says, sour sap is 100 times than chemotherapy. Mm, sour what is sour sap? Guayabano. Ay, guayabano. Sour sap. Sour sap is 100 times better than chemotherapy. Sour soup. Sour sap. The local name is Guayabano. Rabana. Rabana. In English, it's called sour sap. Sour sap. Sour sap. Sour sap. Sour sap. So, S O. Yeah, that's the three. S O U R. Yung sour. Guayabano sap. S A P. S A P. S A P lang. Guayabano fruit. The three. It's it's there. That's the three. Sour sap. Rabana. Rabana for our dialect. Guyabano for uh, Tagalog, Guyabano for... Oh, okay. And in Swa Swahili? In English, is sour sap. Sour sap. Okay. In Swahili? <laughs> in Swahili, sir? 100% of 
Yes, yes. Ask the because I think they will be serving on the next few days. Okay. So they will have the seeds. Okay. Okay. It's called guyabano. Guyabano, sir. Sour sap. Okay. Labana. So what you do? Yes. What should one do? Now, the, the, the internet said, the internet said, the leaves and the trunk are more potent than the fruits. It doesn't, now listen, listen. It doesn't mean the fruit had no potency. But the leaves and the trunk are more potent than the fruits. But still the fruits, there is potency, but less compared to the leaves and the trunk. Now, so we have what? FPJ. I will not teach you how to ferment the trunk because it's too difficult. But there is a way to do it. Now, the leaves is regular. Okay? So, so we have FPJ. So you ferment the leaves, FPJ, then you will have sour sap FPJ for cancer. Please? Claro? Yes. Okay. Another one. How do you use it then? How do you use it? Drink it. Uh, how often? How much? If you have cancer, then you double dose it. Uh, two, two, three tablespoons, three times a day, uh, as often as you have. There's no side effect. Okay. It's like taking in drinks every day. No overdose, it's man yan, sir. No overdose. It's organic, so, natural. So, kailangan sa amo, sir, kailangan man. So, man, dili siya advisable. Okay, mina. Sige, sige. In our traditional, how to do the herbal medicine, we use either drying the leaves and make it into tea, or just boiling uh, the leaves. The leaves. Mm -hmm. If you dry or boil, you have de destroy something. Am I right? The microbes. Okay. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, listen, listen. If you dry or you boil, you did something, right? Yes. You destroy something, right? Yes. yes. But if you ferment, you what is there, you don't destroy through fermentation, you increases. Oh. So which is better? Mm. Fermentation. Fermentation. Mm. So ferment you tadi ta magla uga magdrive ta ferment ta e wala na wala ang iyang potency. Yes. So clear to totoo ni hapon ang iyang. Let us ferment sir because in drying and boiling <laughs> No, 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 you're killing the microbes. Yes, yes. So no potency at all. Yes, yes. Very little, yeah. Ang explanation. Wala ng microbes. No, three is to one. One lang ang pinugay. Pinugay. Ratio, three is to one. Clear? Clear. Yes. Thank you. Okay, another oh. one. Mm. Very good. Mangosteen. Oh, mangosteen. MX3. Oh. Yeah. Mangosteen. Uh, you heard about MX3, oh, right? Mangosteen. MX3 yes. is also very strong antioxidant, the mangosteen. Mangosteen. <coughs> so what my wife did every time that there is a season of mangosteen in Davao is very cheap. Oh. Sometimes it's 25 <coughs> to 30 pesos per, per kilo. kilo. So during this time, we buy volume oh. of the mangosteen fruits and we ferment it. We ferment the shell. shell. The, the meat, we put it in sea black, put it in freezer, frozen it. Every time we want to take in the, the, the meat, we just get it and eat the meat. Yung meat, sir, yung... Yung laman sa loob. Laman sa loob. Yung seeds. Yung, yung seeds. Yung seeds. Yung laman. Oh. oh. Which, which, which shell, sir? Which shell? The shell. The cover. The, 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 the one with the... The violet. The violet. No, no. Uh. Angustin. The violet. 
Fruits. Oh, okay. I, I was oh. thinking of something else. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the, the, the mango steel oh, the, fruits. Yes, oh. yes. Oh, yes, yes, the yes. Color inside is the color oh. The inside is we white. We break it. Oh, yes. ah. Inside is the meat and the seeds. Yes. Oh. We take out the meat and the seeds. Ah, okay. Put it in sheet black and frozen it. So ah. anytime we want to eat the meat, is oh. there. Oh. And the shell. We chop it into smaller size, the shell, and ferment it. Ah, ang shell yun ay. Oh, yeah, ferment. Pero lahi, lahi siya sa katong yung meat, kay pwede rato siya kanon nga. Yeah. Pero sir. So there is no waste. Pero pag ang mga gustin, grabe ang pesticides nga ilang i-apply kay Haitik ang Davao, sir. Kung saan naman na, sir? We buy it from our students. Organically grown, ah, very good. Kaya mo pataka at kolek di sa market sir. Ga apply sila ng pesticides. Our students don't spray. They spray a PJ, a FJ, but not chemical. Okay, listen. So, uh, uh, mangosteen is also antioxidant. So, it's good also for cancer. And lastly, this formula I'm going to give you uh, is my wife's formula. My wife invented. Now, uh, this formula comes from a hospital in Metro Manila, the PGH, Philippine General Hospital. There is a building in the Philippine General Hospital a cancer for all cancer patient in PGS. Uh, my wife was invited with an ex nun to go to that cancer building to teach the relatives of the cancer patient to do urban gardening. Urban vegetable gardening. So that when the patient go back home, the patient will eat of the produce out of the organic uh, urban gardening vegetables. Why? Listen. Cancer patient goes to chemotherapy. What is chemotherapy? Chemotherapy is to destroy all the cells cancer of your cells. body. Not only cancer cells, all the cells. Uh, all the good cells, sir, no good Including cells. the good cells and the cancer cells. cells. Oh, so they cells. kill all the cells. Oh, oh, all the cells. So when all the cells are killed, you have to revive the good cell. Oh. Or else you will die. Oh. So many cancer patients gone through chemotherapy, died, it's because they didn't eat, not because they die of chemo. Because you have to revive the cells so that you will live. And then when you go to a chemotherapy, you have no taste bad. You don't like to eat. You don't like to eat, but you have to eat or else you'll die. Wait. Now, the most important thing that you have to eat are the uncooked. Vegetable and fruits. Okay. Ang cook. Okay. It cannot be cooked to revive the cells. Okay. Now, now, what did my so when my wife was there at the PGH Pinbinger Hospital, he she saw the nurse blending something. So he, she asked the nurse, "Oh, what are you blending?" In a uh, blender okay so she asked the nurse what are you blending the nurse said uh, sugar beet uh, cucumber and celery oh. now now the uh, my wife said what what is it for ah these are juice initially for patient that goes through chemotherapy after chemotherapy they will drink this mm. say sugar beet sir beet beet Beet, beetroot. Sugar beet. Beet. Beetroot. Beetroot. Ah, beetroot. Okay. Now, now listen. So, the blend, blending. Yeah. No patient will ever drink that because it's so, ah. Uh, 
No, it's no bad taste. taste, bad taste. Mm. Okay, so so when my wife came back, what he did, he researched in the internet, sugar beet, the problem in the Philippines regarding sugar beet, almost you cannot have sugar beet. Once in the blue moon, there is sugar beet. Beetroot. Kulay violet. Ay, kulay violet ka nang... Itanong sa ako ang murag kamote, sir? Murag Parang kamote, murag onions. Anak ka tag-as na po. Anak lagi sugar beet. No, listen. Sige, sige. So, so there's no, not much sugar beet. So, he researched in the internet. So, he replaced it with carrots. Now, remember, the internet said, uh, any reddish color of plants is high in antioxidant. So sugar beet is colored violet, while ang orange, uh, ang carrots is colored orange, so may reddish then. So this both had antioxidant. So it becomes carrots, celery, cucumber. So we call it three, three C. C. Oh, uh, so it becomes well known all over the country because we've been teaching this for 10 years already. This is me. Oh, naka naka permit ko ani sir. Ako ang nag-inom sir. Sino nagtudlo sa iyo? Sa easy sir. Ah, easy is panalo. Kami nagtudlo. Oh, ikaw so, dai. So how how do you this this he comes from us. Oh, how, how, do do, how do you do? We conducted seminars. How do you do this? Si baga trisis. Listen, Celery is a little bit salty taste. You, you you don't need salt if you want to cook. You put celery, that will be your salt. Now, that's why uh, and and celery is very expensive. So what? Yeah. So what do you do? Very simple. So it will be three C. When it's three C, three parts of the plant to one part of. Mascobado, am I right? For human consumption? Okay. Now, what you do, so it means, if it's 3C, it's 1, 1, 1, 1. Am I right? Yes. Am I right? Yes. So, if it's, this is 1 kilo, 1 kilo, 1 kilo, 1 kilo. Am I right? 3 parts to 1 part. Okay, now. Ang God, what you do, the celery, you reduce it to half kilo. Ah, half kilo ang celery. Because it's too salty if you do the one kilo celery. And it's quite expensive. So, the half kilo, you give it to the carrots. So, the carrots becomes one and a half kilo. Celery, half kilo. And cucumber, one kilo. Now, with this ratio, uh, your your three C will be a little bit uh, uh, no, lapot, no, lapot, sticky. sticky, not watery. Because if you give it to cucumber, it will be watery. Water. Clear? Yeah. Okay. So that's what you do. You ferment it for ten days. After ten days, separate the liquid from the sub. The liquid that will be your three C. <coughs> now my wife always drink that every day. Oh, one shot, one shot. Does the celery grow here? Yes. Okay. Yes. Regularly. Easy to grow celery. Mm. Very easy to grow celery. Mm. Brad, madali mo tanong ng celery. Asa mo na po ako, sir? Asa mo tanong ito? Palit ka lang seeds. Huwag maglala, sir. O may mag... Okay. 
We have plenty of cars. So everything grows. Huh? Everything grows. Yes. <laughs> Clear? Yeah. You just need to know the technique. Mm. Mm. Yes. Some plants have different Sige, techniques compared to other plants. Plants. But the requirement of the nutrients is the same. The same. <laughs> Now you become quack doctor. You'll be helping a lot of people, okay? Sir, I I lecture.